morning. I'd like to talk with you about iPads and a one-to-one -one initiative. North Central Education Service District serves schools in North Central Oregon, three counties, six school districts. We are part of the statewide education service district uh, community and the mandate for education service districts is to provide services in administration, curriculum and instruction, technology, and special services like special ed and speech language. In the late 90s, we were instructed by the Oregon legislature to begin a model distance learning program. So this was the beginning of the work that we are doing to reach out to students in our area who are in schools that are so small and remote that they don't have access to the courses that most urban schools students would have access to. We had itinerant teachers, mobile classrooms, and video conferencing. We have since expanded that to include platforms such as 3D virtual learning environments, to include Web 2.0 technologies, and to change our approach to make the students the center and the driver of their learning. In December, it was announced that we were awarded a distance learning and telemedicine grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The project is called Enhancing Learning Options. This is our one-to-one -one model. The one-to-one -one initiative has begun in a couple of our districts. We are now expanding it to the region. And so each district has a video conferencing center with two 46-inch screens. Students have one-to-one -one devices, either iPads, iPod Touch, which is a small iPad. Those who are in a computer lab can also participate. Students on interactive uh, whiteboards can participate. And of course, document cameras can all feed into the system so that each of these devices can speak with one another. So I can have students in the fossil beds with their iPads demonstrating how to manage a dig streaming that information to students in multiple classrooms who could then be on whiteboards or computers, taking down information, doing illustrations. The project can be shared across the region. Each of our districts is located um, in an area of rich natural, re natural resources. And so they have access to river estuaries and uh, the fossil beds and greenhouses and shops and things that they've built themselves, the forests, lots of things that they can share with one another. If you'd like to see an excellent video on iPads in education, the bit.ly for this Prezi will be uh, given at the end of this presentation. Also, there's a wonderful presentation by Dr. Anderson on free-range learning and how to use one-to-one -one devices to assist students in managing the wide uh, array of knowledge that is coming at us so quickly. She likens the internet to trying to take a sip from a fire hose. We have a new pedagogy, and the superintendent in Arlington School this Arlington Community Co Community Charter School and I are working on our doctorate related to this new pedagogy. So, if you'd like more information about that, my YouTube channel has uh, actually a ton of video about the new approach that we're using to infuse technology, this will become part of the Enhancing Learning Options one-to-one -one model. And we have some conversation with the teacher who visited our, the Arlington School and had some comments about how the students were doing as each of them is connected one-to-one. -one. The Frontier Learning Network is going global. We have a partner in Australia and almost a partner in Japan, interest from South Africa and Canada. We have six charter schools in the Valley. So we are expanding our connections so that students can connect with other students and content experts around the world. So why don't you tell everyone your uh, name and your title? Okay, it's Wesley Field and I'm the Director of uh, Innovation and Learning at Waverley College in Sydney, Australia. So this is our Australian partner. If you'd like to have a conversation with or have a, watch a conversation with him, that will also be part of the Prezi. We're wondering if there are people who can be consultants for us, content experts that the kids can contact, uh, the teachers can contact, and have conversations live online through their various devices so that the students can truly be in charge of the access to information. If you'd like more information about our project, please feel free to, con free to contact me, Rinda Montgomery Conwell, and there is the bit.ly for our presentation. Please come and visit. Thank you.